All right, we can do girl math now. Now we get to start over girl math. Girl maths, exclamation mark, help, exclamation mark. Oh, okay. I just bought the Deadly Ponies Mr. <gasps> Molten Tote. Ooh, what is that? that? Help oh, me justify no. it. Hashtag my girl God. maths. How much? Okay. How much? That's a thousand dollars. That's a thousand dollar bag. No, 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 what? <laughs> no, no, but what? Listen, Deadly Ponies is a very high quality. Mm. Here's the math. I'll yes. do this for you. I have a Deadly Ponies handbag. What I've had for five years. So now, what, what is a Deadly Pony bag? Put Deadly Pony Australia. Okay. Because maybe that'll help. What is it? Because that's one of the things. Because here's the thing. We already know this. Um. If it's not something that you want, you can't justify the cost. I don't know what it is. There's no way. Go to the comments on the... On the video? Because that's number one. Um, it just says girl math is amazing. There's nothing that explains to me what a diddly pony is. What the hell is a diddly pony? Okay, well, let's just assume it's a really expensive lounge fly bag or something. Now you're at two hundred dollars a year. You're <laughs> less than a dollar a day. Mine wasn't a thousand dollars, so I'm even smaller than that. Yeah, yeah. So it's a tote. How yeah. many ways can you use a tote? That's what I was just going to say. Supermarket, Happy bag, shopping. supermarket. So you you're actually bag, getting four bags in one. Bag, going away bag, pla airplane oh, bag. So divide them right. by four. That's a good one. Four bags in one. Yeah. So True. divide by four. So if we're looking that's at two hundred fifty dollars per bag. Per bag. You've got four designer bags. Bags there. If you're using that every day for a year, it's oh, deadly pony. They're saying deadly pony, not diddly pony. What? 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 They were. They. I swear to God, they were saying diddly pony handbag. What is this? This is the diddly pony handbag website. This is what they're shitting themselves over. Why is this so expensive? This is insane to me. How much is this? Oh my god, would you want this? No. What is a di what is a deadly pony? Dude, this is out of control. Just Google deadly pony $1000 tote. Deadly pony. Dude, they said diddly, right? 100%. Uh deadly, deadly. I guess they did say deadly. I'm trying to find the did the diddly to the diddly. You have to no. You're going I, to the wrong result. You, we're finishing the video. You're literally being paid to use. You're being paid. To, it's it's, it's you're being basically paid. free. You're being paid. You it's basically. To? All right. So fundamentally speaking, what do you, I so I I kind of get. I didn't get anything about the math. Okay. So what she was. <laughs> what she was talking about was like, hey, listen, I'm gonna buy this handbag that cost a thousand. I can't even find a thousand dollar tote. It cost a thousand dollars, but I'm gonna use it for five years, easily. That's a thousand. That is two hundred dollars a year now, it's, right? You bought it for a thousand, but use it for five years. That's a thousand. That's two hundred dollars a year. <clears throat> that's less than a dollar a day. It only costs a dollar a day for something I'm gonna use for such a long time. That's the argument that she's making. That's stupid. I feel like it's just really expensive. If I was making a lot of money and you asked for something like that, I would be fine with it. If you like saved a thousand dollars for your bag, that's fine. But if yeah. you're like, hee hee, I'm gonna go buy this because you know what? This is this is the thing about it. That's not the less that's not the only bag you're gonna buy for five years. That's true too. Especially women, right? <laughs> no, but for real. So you're gonna get more than just that. You're gonna get bored of the style. You're not just gonna use it for five years. And she um, said, Oh, I could use it for my groceries. No, you won't. No, you wouldn't. Why would you use a thousand dollars? I have one. I have a Michael Kors tote bag, which I don't know. I don't think it's even over is that expensive look at how much a michael kors tote bag is i got it for christmas from my ex's mom and you know what i use it for not anymore since my husband buys me backpacks but prior it's like 100 um, 200 bucks they're expensive what do you use it for i use it to sneak in <laughs> snacks and drinks for the movie <laughs> <laughs> no but that's different because now no but a 200 dollars bag to sneak in snacks at the movie theater you're saving significant it was $47. I felt so bad when my, your mom was like, oh, I'll cover it. I went to the movies with my mother. Well, we went to the movies with my mother. We paid for the tickets, and she decided to shoot. There's a fucking glare in my face. She decided she was going to pay for the food. We got a large drink, a medium popcorn. But we both picked out a candy. And one candy each. She got a medium popcorn and a medium drink, $47. Okay. That pays for itself in one trip. Because if you went to the store and bought that, it's 10 bucks. 
you can't get popcorn outside the movie theater, but it's 10 bucks. So, you know what? I could justify that. No, but if you want the bag, it's fine. But her math is shit because she's, you're right. She's going to buy like eight other bags during that time. It's just stupid. Now, I ha- I do, I have a lot of anxiety. And so I have to use logic to explain a lot of things all the time. But for me, like, it's different. Like, I'll be like, oh, like, it's okay for me to sit down for an hour and relax because I did all of this today, you know? Well, that's justifiable. Um, <laughs> but like this was here's the thing if you have the money buy the bag whatever do your thing engage in in consumerism and i would right we're going to disney we don't need to you know i'm entitled we're going to disney we're we spent seven thousand dollars on a disney trip for four people yeah um and and we're gonna spend more money when we get there because i'm gonna probably get like a thousand dollars worth of gift cards at La, wherever, Sam's Club or whatever, because they, you know, it's that's like going to be just for food in the park. So be like let's five, be honest, it's like five to ten percent off. I don't care. There, there is nothing practical about that. Like, there, this is completely in. Like, we are honestly almost entitled. I mean, like, there are people literally can't afford to eat, and we just spent how much it would I cost. Give my to, money to the mouse. Yeah, yeah. I give my money to the mouse. You know, so whatever. You know, tax it better, guys. You know what I mean? Um. <clears throat> But if you can't afford it, don't buy it. Like that's the way I look at it. Her math was like silly. Like you said, she's gonna use it more than for everything for the five years. She's probably gonna use it for like every once in a while. She'll use it a lot at first, then she'll slowly use it less. She'll find something else she wants, and then she'll just use that instead. So it's kind of like a silly thing. There's another um, example if you want to look. Another example in the shorts. Okay, more girl dinner. I mean, what girl dinner? Girl dinner. Here's another example. On rogue with something that happened yesterday. We did a bit of girl math. Now. Carwin wants to get her hair done, and Shannon was like, sh- Shannon girl mathed her and worked out how basically she's getting it free. And then the three of us were like, yes. Oh, it's for free. That's incredible. I do this all the time, and then we girl math someone's handbag, and mm. now she's getting paid by Deadly Ponies. Don't and ask us how it works. Like, and I, I just, the, it's amazing to watch, isn't it, Vaughn? Yeah. Girl maths. It's, it's mind-blowing. Well, I'm so excited about it. Uh, Diddly Pony. Was the um, subtitles on the last video? They couldn't have been, or else we would have known that it was deadly, not deadly. Oh, it's diddly. I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn it into a segment. I'm gonna work on a little intro. Okay, but we're gonna give it a soft launch. It was hundred dollars a year. No, they okay. didn't have it on. The <laughs> you know, we love a soft launch. We're gonna do it with Andrea. Good morning, Andrea. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Good morning. we asked a few people to text in for their girl math. Now, a lot of girls wanting to buy some stuff mm. or have already purchased things. You want us to justify a $400 purchase? I do. What are you buying and why? My hairdresser said my hair would look great with some extensions for my wedding. Oh, what's a wedding? I'm fine with that. As long as it looks nice. You know people what I mean? spend too much goddamn money on their hair. Yeah, true. I have a friend who is blonde naturally and spends three hundred dollars to be more blonde. I don't get the whole hair thing. Uh, you know what? I do get it because I like Harry Potter. <laughs> okay, when's the wedding? It's about seven weeks away. Oh, congratulations! Ooh. Mine's seven years away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> still waiting. Still waiting. Um, yeah. You think that they're waiting because they scheduled the appointment, or because the guy had a date, call her, date her, whatever? Propose. I don't think she's probably even engaged. Ah, uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, that was the joke. I need you to explain that to me. Thank you. Love well, me. I wear hair extensions, Andrea. I wear them all the time. I've got very fine hair and not a lot of it. Mm-hmm. And I buy hair extensions, so I know that, I mean, you've got the, the human hair, of course. You know, I'm, they're I'm, expensive. I'm going to be interested, Fletch. I'm going to be interested to see how this is done because this sounds like an upsell from the hair. I've already done it. Can we get the producer girlies on because this is yep. a team effort here. I'm looking forward to seeing how it's done. In my head, I've already done this, right? In my head, Andrea's going to say no to these hair extensions. Mm-hmm. She's going to save the $400, right? Then she's going to have her day. Everything's perfect. Andrea, I'm going to assume that you've already put a bit of money into this wedding. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> now you're going to get, I'm going to say some of that money's gone to a professional photographer. 100%. 100%. Yeah. That's one of the most important things of the okay. day so you can remember it. Now you're going to get this, you're going to have the best day of your life. Your hair's going to look amazing, whatever, but you're going to look at these photos and you're inside, you're going to know, your hairdresser's voice is going to be like, you would have looked better with a few extra strands of hair on your head. Right? And this is going to eat away at you for, I'm going to say, 10 years. Oh, wow. I fucking hate this because... We had a great wedding. It was beautiful. But at the beginning, you every once in a while go, should we have had a real wedding? Yeah. Because we actually, we got married in a party. It was such a beautiful time. And I, I loved I cried wedding. when I saw you. When you walked up and you were Did addressed. you cry? Yeah. But you cried so much harder. I'm sorry. That- Why for what? I took away your moment. I didn't take wedding. away any moment. My moment was that I got married to you was the moment. 
this beautiful moment. I love that moment. My favorite moment of my life. But I remember I started to cry. I got so upset. Like I was like a teary. I wasn't crying like you. You fucking cried. We want to know why a big reason why she cried? Because we didn't see each other the night before. Because we decided to like that's like a st- uh, thing, right? Yeah. And she was missed me so much. I cried because she was beautiful. For me, I was I. I stayed at my mom's house in an upstairs spare. I jerked off. So you know, I got to do that. You brought his VR headset over. <laughs> <laughs> it was I mean, it was pretty cool. Uh, but I didn't miss you. But it was beautiful. Sometimes you're like, You oh. really did cry because I, I got to pretty. Of course. You didn't know that? No, because I was pulling. You I was so, so you, nervous that, and excited. Me too. But you didn't have to. No, I, I looked at you and I was like, wow, like, that's my wife. And I'm, I'm, this is incredible. And then I cried a little bit when I was giving um, our, I almost I said a eulogy, that. when I gave you my, my speech. I said that we should um, reread our vows. And my wife was like, ah, I don't know if I want to do that. I should have I should never told her why I wanted to read her vows, though. Because I wanted her to read her vows to me. And then I wanted to be, I wanted to start to remind the call. Like, I'm sorry, little kid. I'm going to kill a clown today. <laughs> and I told her that. I ruined the joke. You would have been so been mad. So you would have been very angry because that would have been such a vulnerable moment to show us doing our vows. And for you to, for that, me to do that would be devastating to you. Similarly to the time that I asked you what your favorite fast food was. Remember we had a 10 minute conversation one time? We used to talk on the phone. I mean, all the time when we were dating. Mm -hmm. But especially, I had a lot of long drives between, like, work and school and my internship. Mm -hmm. And he, like, worked outside and, like, alone. I was driving on my way home. I remember that. Oh, that was when I remember I was driving home and we were having on the phone. We were probably talking from the end of my shift to me driving home. I think, I remember being during the day. So that was probably Mm -hmm. when you were at the job out there. You know? No, I don't think so. It was dark out. I remember it. I I think. Well, it doesn't really matter. So anyway, we talked on the phone a lot, and um, I was talking to my I talk, my now wife, of course, my beautiful wife, and we were talking about some random shit, and um, I made fun of her. I think I got you with a stupid D's nuts joke. Correct? You did. We Hold were on. having. So before that, I got you with a silly D's nuts joke. I was just like goofing around. So I was like, okay. So I felt bad. So I asked her about her favorite fast food, and she was telling me, and she's like, oh, my favorite. I think it was like I forget what it was. What was it? I don't even remember, but I but thought he, he was like, what's your favorite fast food? And then we were having a detailed, genuine conversation about, oh, what is the best fast food place? Yep. And I and then I hit her 10 minutes later with uh, my favorite is Wendy's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's so stupid. dumb, but like it, what it was such an incredible buildup just to hit her with Wendy's nuts in your mouth. There's so much commitment to the joke. <laughs> and it was fantastic. What a fantastic thing to do. It was such a beautiful moment. I loved it. You were so angry. Press because play. I think that's when you realize that I would put any amount of effort into the smallest and dumbest of jokes. Yeah, I guess so. Yep. And that's how she fell in love with me. Oh. Until eventually, you're going to do a whole redo on this wedding so you can get new photos done. Now we're not looking at 400, we're looking at 40,000. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to have another wedding. We're looking at $40,000 to redo the wedding because that hair just looked thin. Shannon, so, how, how have you girl maths this? Got the calculator. It's, calculator. it's, it's currently got so, zero on it. So, $400, right? Yep. Yeah. Standard hair extensions, great quality. We're talking 10 whiffs of hair. So we're already down What's to 40. What's a whiff? Are you allowed to say whiff on the radio? <laughs> I don't know, not, not anymore. It's okay. kind of like the band of hair. You know how you wore a halo? That's yeah. one kind of whiff. I did yeah. wear a halo. I yeah. looked great in my halo. You, like you can't have a halo, halo for a no, wedding day. No. She's got to go full whiff. We're okay. down to $40 a whiff. Okay. Already significantly better. Then I'm going to say she's going long. I feel like she's a classy girl. Andrea, we're we going long? Yes, yeah, so my hair is very Maybe long. Maybe a 28-inch. Yeah. 28-inch, I'm 28 feeling. Inch, I'm so we're going yeah. 40 divided yeah. by 28 per <laughs> inch. We're a forty, baby. You're $1.40 oh, per wow. inch. I reckon, per inch. Looking at your hair, I reckon it's worth forty. That's basically free. Then you think about the retouch aspect that Haley's doing. We're back in the positives, baby. We're earning money. What do, you, what do you think about that? I I don't vibe with this. Yeah, me neither. I mean, just get it if you, it's your wedding. I right? get the emotional logical reasoning of like oh i'm gonna get my wedding pictures and then i'm gonna look at that and think about what my hairdresser said yeah that is like the logical reasoning but like this this is too much of a um this is not real 
Yeah, because you could also just continuously be sad and not redo a whole wedding. Yeah. Or you could have someone Photoshop the longer hair and do it. Get a really good. Yeah, Photoshop. this is like this is like weird. This is like convincing. I don't know. This is like weird. It is very weird. It is bizarre. Put all these lists in the link bus. Exactly. For one for one sector on Andrew, the bus. you can't not get these hair extensions. It's going to cost you so much money if you don't buy. Them. I would go with like, hey, you know, you're gonna get the if you don't get the hair extensions. You're going to have your wedding. You're going to get home. You're going to look at the pictures. You're going to sit there. It's always going to sit in there with you that you should have got the hair extensions. You're going to constantly question if your husband actually thought you looked pretty or not. You're going to ask him. He's going to say yes, but he has to say yes because he's your husband. And you're going to continuously ask over and over and over again, but you're never going to be able to let it go because you feel like you want him to say no. You know he thinks no, even though you don't really think that, but you know that he thinks that you look fucking disgusting because we didn't listen to the goddamn hairdresser. And you're going to sit there and you're going to spiral. You're going to drink and you might might even turn to pills and eventually <laughs> oh the amount God. the amount of alcohol and pills and the cost of rehab to get yourself set straight is going to far outweigh the four hundred dollars extensions that you would have gotten in the first place. That's how I would have rationalized uh girl math. That was a lot. Did it make sense though? I think where I, I started and stopped was a pretty good I, I think good I one. did a good job with girl math. That's how I would have done it. It wasn't math. terrible. It was terrible? I said it wasn't terrible. You're sad, though. Dark. Love you. I don't. By my, by, my, by my calculations, conservatively, yeah. and I am a conservative man, yeah. you either spend $1.40 an inch, yeah. or it's going to cost you $800,000. <laughs> <laughs> right. Girl mast. Your hair extensions. Okay, well, it sounds like you're getting the hair extensions in. Fletch Vaughn and Haley. Is that Haley or Haley? Haley. 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 Is that the right, uh, is that the right <laughs> accent? Are we doing the right accent there? Okay, interesting girl. Claire. Haley. 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 